Thank you for choosing Oak Leaf Surgical Hospital. Our healthcare team has prepared this video to assist you and your loved ones in your preparation for and recovery from surgery. During a large vehicle transfer, the patient approaches the vehicle using a front-wheeled walker. She is taking small steps while turning to avoid pain. She uses the step and the door to help position herself safely. The patient's helper gives her support at the step and the walker as needed. Note that the patient uses the non-surgical leg to lift herself into the vehicle, avoiding pain and range of motion restrictions. After sitting, scoot as far back into the reclined seat as possible to allow room to place the surgical leg inside. When exiting a large vehicle, with or without running boards, it may be helpful to have a 6 to 8 inch step to accommodate safety. When moving from the sitting position, use small steps. Exit the vehicle using the door handle, overhead handle, center console, or helper. A helper can stabilize the step and the walker. Step down, leading with your surgical leg. To maintain proper joint position, use pillows to raise the height of the seat. Patient approaches the vehicle, protecting her surgical leg. Small steps ensure safety as she backs into the vehicle. Patient can use the door, a helper, or the console to help lower herself into the vehicle. Small movements as she scoots back into the seat allow clearance of the surgical leg into the vehicle. Patient uses small scooting movements to adjust her position in the car. She slides gently towards the edge of the seat using the door frame, a helper, the console of the car, and the door to assist her. A helper can stabilize the walker. The patient uses this standard toilet with the help of a toilet seat riser placed inside the toilet bowl. Surgical leg is placed out in front to protect against range of motion restrictions and avoid pain. When moving into a standing position, push straight up using the walker for assistance.
patient uses this standard toilet with the help of a commode with handles, allowing herself to sit safely. When moving into a sitting position, please note the tall upright posture. Move the surgical leg out in front to protect and avoid pain. Notice the patient taking small steps to avoid twisting her joint. When sitting, place the surgical leg out straight in front of you to minimize pain. Prior to standing, place the surgical leg out in front. When moving from a lying down to sitting position, Move towards your strong side. Scoot your hips with the help of the edge of the bed and your strong leg. From sitting, push up into a standing posture from the surface of the bed. When using a bedside commode, use small steps. Use the handles for safety. When sitting and lying back down, lift your legs into the bed first and use your arms to lower your upper body. A helper can assist with bed mobility by lifting and moving the surgical leg. Support at the arms and trunk can help with sitting. When going upstairs using a rail and a crutch, go up with your non-surgical strong leg. Step up with your surgical leg. When going downstairs, the crutch and the surgical leg go together. Non-surgical leg steps down to meet. When using two crutches going upstairs, step up with your non-surgical strong leg. Follow that with your surgical leg and then the two crutches together. When going down, the crutches go down first, followed by the surgical leg and then the non-surgical leg. When walking, move the walker forward. Step your surgical leg into the walker. Then using your hands to assist with weight bearing, move your non-surgical leg forward to meet.
When using crutches, move the crutches forward. Step your surgical leg directly in between them. Then step forward with your non-surgical leg. These items are some of the assistive equipment devices that you may find beneficial after surgery. They can be borrowed, rented, or purchased. Further discussion on your individual needs will occur during your physical therapy sessions. A long shoehorn may be helpful as you slide your heel into the shoe, avoiding range of motion restrictions. Ankle pumps. Gently pump your ankles up and down. Quadricep sets. Tighten the muscles on the top of your thigh pushing your knee down into a straight position. Short arc quads. Place an item the size of a coffee can under your bent knee. Straighten the knee by doing a short kicking motion tightening the muscles on the top of your thigh. Straight leg raise. Tighten the muscle on top of the thigh. Keeping the knee straight, lift the leg six to eight inches off the surface. Bend your other knee to protect your back. Heel slide. Pull your knee into a bending position by sliding your heel towards your buttocks. Keep the kneecap pointed towards the ceiling. Knee extension. Set your ankle on an item the size of a coffee can. Relax your hip and knee. Let your knee stretch out straight. Long arc quad. While sitting, straighten the knee on the surgical leg as far as tolerated. Then bend the knee as far as possible. Knee flexion. While sitting in a sturdy chair, slide the foot back and forth, increasing the bend in your knee. A smooth surface works the best. Thank you for participating in this Oakleaf Surgical Hospital educational video. We hope that this information has been beneficial to you and your loved ones. We look forward to your stay at Oakleaf Surgical Hospital.